Another great thing you can do with a chalky finish paint is stencil. Here I purchased this plain wood little frame and I base coated it with primitive. And just one coat would do, that's fine. And as you can see, I already started the design here on this side and I'm gonna work on the other side. So you just wanna take your stencil, place it right where you need it and take some painter's tape and go ahead and secure that. And this other color that I have on top is this pretty charcoal called Relic. So I already have that here on my plate. Put a little bit on your brush and once you've done that, go ahead and kind of pound it out a little bit. You don't need too much on your brush. A little bit works better. And I'm just going to start to pounce that down. And it doesn't need to be solid unless you want it to be, of course. But for this one, I want it to look uh, kind of airy. And I need just a little bit more. And another reason you don't want to put too much paint is you don't want it to seep through underneath your stencil. I already let this dry completely, but as you can see, there's a few more accents that I need to add. So I'm gonna pick up my stencil and place it. There's one right there. And because it's a small one, I'm just going to go ahead and hold it down. And I loaded my brush and then pounced it out because remember, you don't want too much paint on your brush. There we go. All done. So now that I'm done with the stenciling and I let this dry completely, I'm gonna distress it just a little bit with sandpaper. And this is a finer grit and the best way to do it is rather than go back and forth, just kind of go in one direction. Now all I have to do is put a photo in it and go ahead and hang it up on the wall.